If you print this piece about Biden not knowing what his pencil is for, then you <laughs> are going to kill Americans. And mm -hmm. and I think if you're you know if you're just a mildly partisan but extremely let alone extremely partisan person and committed progressive you think well yeah you know I better not print that part I better not tell print the news is that is that a, is that theory work I covered the Biden White House for five weeks and they were very professional as I dealt with them but I do know this there are certain stories that you do. Uh, they make it clear. I mean, they're going to fight you every inch of the way. Uh, if somebody writes about Hunter Biden, for example, that's going they're going to get pushback. And the pushback isn't going to be this is bad for the world. It's more like this. <laughs> this is not this is going to be bad for you. Mm -hmm. We're going to we're going to we're going to fight you every inch. And if there are certain stories that you can write about politicians and that they'll come back and they're just going to let you know that they're going to challenge it. Uh, I've covered certain people. Uh, I can think of one. Uh, environmental group and 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 uh they, they're involved in a lawsuit and you knew that if you wrote about them that they were going mm -hmm. to spend two days challenging everything you wrote and be a complete time suck and and you know that <laughs> and you know that scientologists that, do that in hollywood mm -hmm. by the way well, wait, yeah, yeah, exactly. wait, wait a second though. hold on here though journalists are our firefighters they run to the fires they are the ones i've in, I, i've seen the movies but, but, you know, the thing is, when you, if you're a White House correspondent, you've got one person, one thing you're covering. And yes, there are other sources that you can have, but there's a certain hold that they have over you on access. Mm -hmm. And that is an issue. Um, can we just get back to the, the big uh, orange elephant in the room? Um, mm -hmm. What's he going to do? Oh, I knew What's you were going to ask. He's got that. a bunch of <laughs> a, a bunch of stuff going. I mean, I don't I don't even mean is he the 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 election of running running again or not. Um, he's got he's he's besieged really on all sides, uh, you know, in New York and financially and um, January six, all that stuff. Is it is it is he are they poking that bear so hard that he's got to run, or is he what do you, your instinct having co covered him? Is he looking for a way out? What what do you, what's going on right now in that? that um, very complicated brain. So I don't know. And I've talked to people, uh, you know, there are people, there are a lot of people who don't know. Uh, I just have my suspicions. And my guess would be, my instinct is that he does not run. That he's, wow. I think he's, hmm. and it's, I think he's spiraling down. I think that as he's, you know, he, he's, the better people who have worked in his administration, and there are many great people who worked with him, they're not part of his team anymore. He's just in the room with a bunch of grifters, and he's hearing what he wants to be told. In his hold, I mean, when he had people in his in his in his West Wing who were realists and telling him this is how you should do it, he often didn't listen to them, but they had him tethered. He is untethered now. And uh, that so it's possible he does run, but I don't think he has the discipline or the organization to get what he wants. Ricochet. <laughs> Join the conversation.